just to see if I have to put over it because of, uh, you know, they say that people are getting uh, hit in the knee by it. But you, you were saying, like, the last series, that the, that the support kept you from jumping quite as well. And I think it's just, uh, that's just the knee in general. This is not ready. So, so how are you? You, are, you know, if you have to put a percentage on yourself. Probably about 85, 90. Drew, were you disappointed you picked up those two early fouls last night? Um, one of them I thought was bogus, but the reach, uh, I should uh, not have reached for the ball. What, what, what can you do tomorrow to kind of limit the fouls? Uh, just stop reaching. No, I didn't really, after that, I didn't really pick up any more fouls. How are you going to be effective at 85%? What can you do? Um, you know, I can try to get down first, get some early post position, make out run, uh, run. So does that manifest yourself? You know, can you just not get up as high or you're not as explosive as? Um, no, not right now. But, you know, this is part of coming back from injury. It takes a while. Andrew, do you know that because of the problems that you're having that, in a way, it's hurting your team? Uh, yeah, it is, it is hurting the team, and it's something that we're going to have to deal with. Drew, what's the mindset of the team? Are you are you eager to play tomorrow, or is everyone kind of uh, surprised by what happened last night? Um, nobody's surprised by what happened. We came out, we played kind of flat, and, you know, uh, you can't you can't go out there and do that and play our basketball. Tomorrow's a must win for us, and we're going to watch the film tomorrow and see what we can improve on. How much of that was because you have been sitting around for six days? Uh, everybody got out of sync, and, um, you know, I think that when we watch the tape tomorrow, we're going to come back with a with a uh, better game plan and try to execute it. Is you okay running the court? So if you want to go down and establish position early, you're okay just going yeah. running, right? It's just it's pivoting and pivoting and uh, jumping explosion. What kind of challenges do you face with Yao Ming that you don't take, face with other centers in the league? Uh, I mean, well, you, you face those problems with any any great center, uh, any good, really good center. Same problem as Dwight. You gotta, you know, battle them early, and not, not try to let them get too deep. And then when they get the ball, they make it, they make it, they miss it, they miss it. You gotta keep playing. I don't think we would beat because of Yao Ming yesterday. You know, he's a, he's the type of player who's gonna get his buckets. I think uh, we gotta kind of try to limit everybody else.